welcome back friends in this video tutorial we will be talking about uh, the difficult or complex type of transposable elements which are called the composite transposons now what we have seen in previous case is about the IS elements or inver insertion sequence elements now for uh, making of insertion sequence element we must have two things one is the simple central gene region and another uh, thing about it we must have uh, two Sorry, extremely sorry for that. Whoop. Okay, now and uh, two regions which is flanked at the at both of the ends, which are called uh, the in insertion uh, inverted repeat. Sorry, not insertion inverted repeat region and one central gene region. Okay, so this is uh, the actual structure of IS elements as we can see in these previous cases and we have also seen this uh, this uh, IS elements are pretty small like uh, 780, 768 uh, yeah, BP only. So 768 BP means not 1 MB. So it's a pretty uh, small, so less than 1 MB uh, in M, uh, less than 1 MB in uh, nature okay so uh, you can see this uh, 768 bp in case of the galactose operon for bacterial cell now that's that's that uh, pretty tell us that uh, why this uh, is elements are simple because of this uh, length and all these things are really simple only one gene at the middle and two in inverted repeats at the bottom uh, at the end sorry now this in inverted repeats are helping itself to be incorporated and the gene portion code for the protein transposes which is a key protein during the transposition of is elements now if it look at uh, this composite transposable elements or or suppose non composite transposable elements they are varying from this is elements because is elements are pretty simple but this composite and non composite transposons are pretty complicated now you can see in this case this composite or non composite transposons both type of transposons are made up with uh, more than one uh, insertion sequences and they are not only have this more than one insertion sequence but they can also carry a few different types of genes so sometimes a gene which can uh, give the bacterial cell evolutionary advantage like the antibiotic resistance genes right so this kind of genes can also be taken by this um, composite or non composite transposition transposons now in this case we are looking at the tn10 tran transposons of bacteria cell it is a uh, uh, total consisting of 9.3 kb uh, nucleotide uh, sequence so you can see pretty big 9.3 kb and it includes uh, 6.5 kb at the central region which is uh, the dna or uh, which is the gene region which codes for uh, the tetracycline resistant not all the region but uh, in between this 6.5 kb uh, we are having the gene for tetracycline resistance so this is a very very positive factor about this composite transposons or very unique factor that it can carry this uh, antibiotic resistance genes and by the means it can transfer this uh, antibiotic resistance genes from one uh, species to another species uh, very few times but sometimes and most of the time uh, for in between uh, the same members of the same sp uh, different members of the same species okay and it also consists of two 1.4 uh, kb uh, sequences at the at both the ends which are simply insertion sequences we can we can see in this case which are simply insertion sequences so these two things are the is elements which is denoted with this red and yellow color this yellow color portion is simply this blue color what I have uh, I've drawn here which is a uh, coding for the transposes and these two red parts are the inverted repeats we, uh, so these two IS sequ sequence uh, is present at the both of the terminals of uh, this uh, central gene region for this composite transposons okay so IS elements supply the transposes as well as ITR regions or, or this IR uh, regions recognizes the signal okay so uh, this IS elements uh, are doing two functions one is they are providing the transposes which is the key enzyme for the transposition and the second thing is all it this uh, transposes or this IS elements are also helping them to recognize ITR regions or inverted terminal repeat on the other uh, target DNA site that's also very very important now at the at the middle we are having the gene it may be different type uh, uh, function of genes uh, but in this case it is tetracycline resistance resistance gene okay so this is uh, the structure of a composite transposon now if we look for uh, the structure of a non composite transposons what we will find let us move on yeah, uh, this is uh, the non-composite transposons, which is again the transposon. Uh, the example is in this case TN3, which is the 
type of non transpo non composite transposons now again this type of transposons can also carry genes uh, the example can be genetic antibiotic resistance also in this case too so we can see here we have a beta lactamase which is an antibiotic resistance against beta lactam antibiotics like penicillin but in this case they uh, do not terminate with is elements so that's a very important point because in previous case in case of composite transposons we can see that at the central region we it can carry gene but at the both ends we are having the is elements because is element must present at the, at the both end and this is elements as we know they are consisting of the central uh, transposes encoding region and at the end they are inverted repeat region and uh, this this will be flanked at the middle uh, gene containing site now uh, at the ends on uh, is element repeat sequences okay so in this case ends are non is element uh, repeat sequences that means they must be uh, no is or uh, insertion sequence present at the ends instead of that there must be some other type of sequence which will help them to recognize this itr or inverted terminal repeats okay so here what we are having we are having the left inverted repeat and the right inverted repeat in this case and both of this repeat consisting of 38 base pairs uh, instead of uh, that's th those those uh, huge 600 700 base pairs of is elements so what we are having we are having a simple stretch of the dna which dna can really uh, make cut onto it themselves and really move from one place of the gene into another place of the same gene or sometimes from one place of the dna to somewhere uh, some other dna right there's the first criteria for the transposons second thing is that it mu it have a it is a pretty long element uh, uh, almost like 5 kb so it's a pretty pretty long element now in in between this 5 kb uh, only 3.38 uh, 38 bp at both th of the ends uh, it consists of uh, the r inverted repeat instead of the insertion sequence that's the second uh, quality characteristic here which is a pretty pretty small region and rest of all the region in, uh, typically like 4957 bp uh, or 4.95 or 4.96 uh, KB uh, region is consisting of all the different types of genes so uh, in comparative way we can see this non composite transposons actually carry much more genes than the composite transposons and non composite transposons are not having any insertion sequence elements and they are they are the the, the gene sequence is not uh, denoted or the end of the gene sequences are not denoted by uh, this is elements in this case instead of that they are denoted by the inverted repeat sequences at both the ends but these are not is element sequences okay that's very very important assumption but inside that uh, long genetic part of this transposon tn3 there must be the transposes uh, enzyme encoding region otherwise the transposition cannot be established so if we find it we can get it so here we can see there is a region or the gene sequence present there which can code for transposons and there are also different genes we have a tnpb which which uh, encodes for resolvase which is another important uh, enzyme which help them to cut uh, this uh, genetic element from the dna sequence and at the end uh, we are also having this um, beta lactamase or some uh, which is called the antibiotic resistance gene now this antibiotic resistance genes are uh, the advantages uh, of all because this is, this will help this bacteria uh, to to grow uh, against this antibiotic sense uh, antibiotic uh, environment right and this kind of uh, antibiotic resistance genes transfer gives gives this bacterial cell uh, uh, the evolutionary advantage over other type of bacteria okay so these are the pretty overall of non composite transposons so let's sum up uh, all those about composite and non composite transposons you can you can see in this case of composite transposons we have seen we are having the central region of the dna that is flanked with two I, uh, insertion sequence at both the ends one is called the left uh, insertion sequence another ins is called the right insertion sequence and at the uh, middle it may carry gene for example it can carry the antibiotic resistance gene here in tn10 type of transposon it can carry the tetracycline resistance gene okay and uh, this type of uh, transposons are pretty long like 9.3 kb at it, uh, its size 
and at the second hand we are having the non composite transposons in case of non composite transposons we are having a long stretch of dna at the middle and pretty fewer a stretch of nucleotide sequence at both the ends but still they are not insertion sequences instead they are only leave inverted repeats uh, left and right inverted repeats respectively and uh, at the uh, middle uh, region where they have different genes they can carry more than one genes here for example they carry three different genes one is the gene for coding the uh, trip transposes another gene is coding for resolves and the third one is coding for uh, the uh, unique advantage of the bacteria which is the beta lactamase okay so this is all about the composite and non-composite transposons and i hope it will help you thank you